so jumping on here today just to share a little um a little bit with you oh look at that mess uh that i actually cannot blame the windstorm for really except for where you see it blown up there but that's my cardboard for my no dig method but we had a windstorm a couple nights ago that made a problem in my backyard worse that trash can the dogs knocked over specifically mellow who's hiding somewhere uh to get stuff out of it they could chew hence the little plastic pieces and then um foolishly thinking i had more time to go ahead and pick that up and clean it i just kind of let it go and then the wind came through and blew everything around so that's what i am going to have to deal with today that's why i'm out here well partly that and uh checking on my plants I need to make sure the vines keep being trained up the way they're supposed to be and get any snow peas that are that are too big for the for the plant and I'm also practicing using the selfie stick that I finally figured out where it was so if for some reason I'm out of frame please forgive me as you guys know I'm new to this so we'll see how it goes but um, I did want to jump on here and share my favorite YouTube channels with you that I've been learning the most from and I think as, as I go on this journey of um, just learning what I'm doing in the garden and being proud of some things and uh, knowing where I need to work on others, I'd like you guys to have kind of the benefit of what I've been learning from if you're interested. So I would say that my, my top one that I started out with when I was planning, I was in the planning stage, was Epic Gardening. And I will link all of these below. But Epic Gardening is the one that I learned um, how to run my irrigation lines. I'm sure there are others out there that you could learn, but that's just the one that I learned from. And um, just a lot of things about gardening in raised beds. I think that one would be really valuable. And then my second favorite right now, and probably will stay in the top, it might make it to number one pretty soon, but Roots and Refuge because I just like the way that she communicates. Um, she does a lot of research too into her plants and, and she's had just years now of experience growing a garden. So I really appreciate the way that she shares her, her trials and successes um, with gardening, but she also has some animals. She has uh, goats and stuff like that, which we can't have a goat on this property, but um, it's just kind of fun to watch and chickens which I like learning about chickens because I'd like to have those one day so that's my second one look at my spinach oh my goodness this guy is taking off now I'm excited we're gonna have some fresh spinach and I mean I think I'm pretty sure that's also a spinach plant that somehow oh what a, all these little gnats um, somehow made it over into my parsley so Anyway, I will thin it out probably around the spinach because not many of them made it. This guy's working it over here too. So, um, you know, I would like to have as much spinach as possible. So I will just thin my parsley around that one. Um, but my third favorite, adjust this here, my third favorite channel, and yeah, I work off notes still because I don't memorize this stuff, Homesteady. Um, so like Homestead with a Y, Homesteady. And I just really like, I appreciate his outlook in becoming a homesteader. Let me let this truck go by. Uh, I don't know that I'll ever get to that level, but I do appreciate what he shares on his YouTube channel. And actually, um, I've subscribed to him online because he's just, he's got a lot of, um, I think, motivational type stuff. You learn a lot from it too, but I appreciate kind of his ability to, help spark a vision and help you take the steps to make it happen. So check out Homesteady. Um, my next favorite one is not a homesteading uh, channel, but it's Home Renovision DIY. While we're actually forgot to show you Home Renovision DIY. And he just does a lot of like carpentry stuff. Um, while we're over here at this one, this is the oregano that I was uh, pruning back the other day and if you go back in the video then maybe I'll have a before and after picture sometime although probably not it's YouTube and I'm I don't have the time to figure out how to post that type of picture uh, or include it right now but it's already really letting that new 
growth happen. So I might even come back and take this off. It was kind of okay, but I might as well just let the new growth have it. Um, so yeah, looking forward to um, having some yummy oregano in the house again. Get this dead stuff out of here. So yeah, anyway, back to the subject at hand. Home Renovision DIY. I um, went online looking at how to build how to build your own shed from scratch. And uh, he made it really, really approachable. So um, we bought just a plastic DIY shed for some things. But I think we're going to go ahead and build kind of an outbuilding using um, the tips that we learned from him. And then kind of a bonus. Uh, let me make sure that I got all of mine before the bonus. Oh, I skipped over one. Another kind of homesteading one. Better Together Life. Speaking of sheds, actually, they also have a shed to house um, like uh, community on Facebook. But I like their, they kind of show the transition from uh, suburban living out to homesteading and their animals, the livestock that they're, that they're growing, as well as how they are um, going to from being in debt, even with a mortgage, to not having any debt, including, you know, mortgage debt. So that's why they did, you let this dog finish barking, maybe. That's why they did a shed to house, so they could build more affordably. Um, so yeah, Better Together Life, I really like them as well. And then uh, finally, my bonus uh, addition here is, oops, sorry, getting that a little low, and shining you into the sun, sorry. Um, a beautiful nest TV. I wouldn't say that I've gotten as many tips and tricks from her necessarily. There's definitely some valuable information there, but the way she puts together her videos in her garden and with her chickens is just so beautiful and it has relaxing music that I just enjoy having the channel on in the background, even if I can't pay complete attention. So those are my top five. A little bit out of order because I switched Better Together Life and Home Renovation DIY, um, plus my bonus, a beautiful Nest TV. So if you're looking to kind of get started and I don't have enough like experience and growing tips for you out here just yet, check those out because that's where I've been learning. It's actually been almost a year since I kind of started this journey and so I've got a lot of little successes in the garden and I just, I really hope that um, if you're watching this and you're thinking about starting a garden that even if you don't make it as big as this and I actually am planning to do a little something about the different types of gardening I'm doing um, if you don't want to do it as big as this you start with just a really small box or start with like a little small outline from pavers and it doesn't have to cost you a lot and you can get get growing so I hope you all have a great Wednesday and that you are sparked to at least try something <laughs>